Hello, and welcome back to another Power to Protect podcast. I'm your host, Colin Keegan, from Data Protection Product Marketing here at Dell Technologies. One of the things we continue to discuss on this podcast is what organizations can do to drive more simplicity into protecting and securing their data and workloads anywhere they reside across edge, core data center, and multi-cloud environments. Today, our discussion will focus on integrating data protection automation directly into the primary storage environment. This will help boost efficiency and, and help simplify data protection. Joining me today is Tom Giuliano, Senior Consultant of Product Marketing at Dell Technologies. Tom focuses on our data protection software and appliances. Tom, thanks for joining me today. Yes, Colin, great to be here. So in the last few podcasts, I've been discussing the importance of IT automation given the increased complexity of IT and then also the IT skills gap. Before we get into some of our recent announcements, can you just say a few words about what we're doing to address these challenges and why customers should be looking to Dell? Yeah, great question. I would say that everything we're, we're doing now from an investment and innovation standpoint is focusing on three things, uh, simplifying IT, reducing complexity, and, and delivering more automation. And it's, it's across all of our solutions. And it, it isn't just data protection. It's the entire Dell portfolio. And, and this is important to your point. Uh, IT complexity and the, and the skills gap is, is not limited to cybersecurity and data protection. It's across uh, primary storage, public cloud, edge, other I areas of IT. So, so to directly answer your question, the reason why uh, organizations should be looking at Dell overall is because we are working towards delivering end-to-end -end solutions that, that simplify IT. And that's across uh, compute, storage, cybersecurity, data protection, anywhere that data, uh, that customer data and, and workloads reside. And that could be at the edge, in the, uh, at the core, or in multi-cloud. All right, so let's get to some of the recent news and then see what we're doing to back up what you're talking about. Did you catch that? Back up what you're talking about. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, uh, so one of our recent announcements is the availability of our storage direct technology on Dell PowerStore. So now, Storage Direct offers a way to directly protect storage snapshots on PowerStore to our PowerTech appliances. Now, let me say that a, li a little bit different way. Storage snapshots go directly from the PowerStore array over to PowerTech appliances. Customers don't need a data mover, and there is no requirement for a backup server. But let me stop you there. So what you're telling me this is, is like a, a serverless backup solution that enables you to send storage snapshots on PowerStore directly to PowerProtect deduplication appliances, right? Correct. Our customers can use the PowerStore UI to back up their critical data directly to PowerProtect appliances on premises and also to the public cloud. And keep in mind that these backups are very efficient. Only changes are sent across the wire. And PowerPick ingests unique blocks only, and then costs reduces those with a typical 65 to one data reduction. Okay, so let's talk for a minute about what the benefits and use cases are for this capability. All right, so first it's, it's a way to copy stored snapshots very rapidly to protection storage. And since it's non-disruptive, it can be done more frequently. This gives organizations more, uh, more recovery points to choose from. So for example, think of uh, app developers. They maintain multiple versions of code and often store them via snapshots. Mm -hmm. they, can, they can now keep more versions of their code and do it more efficiently since these snapshots can be copied very efficiently, efficiently to PowerProtect. You know, IT admins can also leverage this feature. Uh, they can send more snapshot copies to, um, to crit uh, of critical databases to protection storage. So in this case, those copies can then be replicated offsite to another data center or into the cloud for DR purposes. 
Right. So instead of waiting for a scheduled backup to take place, you can just selectively snapshot certain workloads and then copy those snapshots to protection storage for, I guess, more granular recovery point objectives. I also like the fact that you can very efficiently replicate these copies off-site for DR purposes. It, right, right, right. And, and, and there's a little bit more. So by providing this, this direct path from PowerStore to uh, PowerPick appliances, there again, there's no need for a backup server. So unlike other offerings in the in the market, you don't have to mount these snapshots to a backup server and have all this data flow through that backup server before it lands on protection storage. Yeah, you know, I can see where IT admins can also use snapshot copies to do rapid DR testing. So for example, take a snapshot of your server images and application data from PowerStore and then move those to Apex Protection Storage in the cloud. And so for our listeners, Apex Protection Storage is was formerly DDVE, which is our software-defined version of our PowerProtect appliances for the public cloud. Right. And, and there's more. So by providing this direct path from PowerStore to PowerProtect appliances, there is no need for a backup server. So unlike other offerings in the market, you don't have to mount these snapshots to a backup server and have all the data flow through that backup server before it lands on protection storage. Yeah, and I can see where end users like developers may like this because they don't have to be backup software experts, right, you know, to perform that operation. To be clear, though, this doesn't remove the need for backup software altogether, right? Exactly. You still need backup software to protect workloads like virtual machines and containers. And this is why you still need a, a solution like PowerPick Data Manager in the environment. The difference is those... Uh, those stored snapshots will, will not be competing for backup server resources that are managing other backup workloads. So, so in, the, in, in the long run, that extends the life of those server assets. It, it reduces rack space. It reduces power consumption. And, and you can also get the benefit of protecting these snapshots on deduplicated storage, which further reduces costs. Does PowerStore provide snapshots for just user files or does it also include block? It, yeah, good question. So PowerStore uh, provides support for both block and user files. It's a, it's a unified storage platform and it, it delivers the performance and scalabilities organizations need to, to drive the, their, uh, their, their data center consolidation. Now these, um, I'll, I'll point out these snapshots are, are crash consistent and, and, that what that means is you know, they provide a copy of the data at a specific point in time. And that ensures that the state of the data is preserved as, as it was at the moment of the snapshot, even if a, 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 a crash occurred at that exact moment. All right, so, so if I understand it supports block and file snapshots, but if you're running a database application and you need to do a recovery from a snapshot, don't you need a way to also ensure application consistency? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you brought that point. So, so by combining PowerPoint Data Manager with, with PowerStore, you, you get both crash consistent and application consistent backups. Now, VMware snapshots can be instantiated on PowerStore and then the transparent snapshots feature in, on Data Manager can get an application consistent copy of these snapshots that can be moved to protection storage. Now, this is a capability that is unique to Data Manager. So for example, our customers can get um, application consistent snapshots uh, for SQL without causing disruption to the database. And it, it, I'll point out, it doesn't require uh, deploying any proxies for data movement. So it's extremely efficient and very fast. You know, that's a killer feature. You know, there are other offerings in the market that provide backups from storage snapshots that are crash consistent and application consistent, but it requires deploying proxy servers to move the data. You know, what's interesting is that, you know, Dell did a lot of co-e engineering with VMware with transparent snapshots, right? So you get this very deep level of integration with VMware. And I think that's what's enabling us to do this. Uh, so what else makes the combined power store and power protect solution different from what's already on the market. Yeah, what, what significantly differentiates um, our offer is that, that PowerStore operates on an advanced container-based architecture that's, that's centered around microservices. And, and this, this enables us to, to speed up enhancements and updates to all facets of, of 
power store services. And, and ultimately, this gives our customer, um, all of our customers continuous enhancements that deliver more automation and simplicity. You know, that's interesting, Tom, because PowerTech Data Manager also uses a microservices-based architecture. Exactly. So you can see that everything we're doing is designed to modernize IT. The the investments we're, we're making in our storage and data protection solutions are are all based on microservices designed to to enable us to respond to to faster customer needs. For for example, uh, we're delivering updates to our storage and data protection software roughly on a quarterly basis, rather than you know once a year, maybe twice a year. At Dell Technologies World, uh, just a few weeks ago in May, we were able to demonstrate a long list of new capabilities that that became available in the last, last year on PowerPack Data Manager. Many of these enhancements were things our customers had asked us about at the event last year. Uh, a few of those include uh, retention lock support for data immutability, uh, multi-factor authentication, enhanced enhanced transparent snapshots performance, and uh, several things on Oracle, uh, support for Oracle Data Guard beta rated mode, uh, and integration with Oracle incremental merge. And we will, we will continue to listen to and address our customers' data protection and security challenges in the same way. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a good proof point of how, you know, in, in a microservices-based environment, you can do this continuous innovation and continuous delivery. So, Thanks for that uh, color there. Can you talk a little bit about our open APIs? Yeah, of course. Um, you know, that helps drive a lot of the automation for our customers because they can treat our storage and data protection infrastructure as effectively code. In, in other words, it, it, an application developer doesn't have to be a storage or data protection admin to provision storage or data protection resources. Instead of that, they can they can instantiate a request to deploy these resources right in line with the code that they they use to deploy new VM or or, or container instance. Yeah, that's so important because you know one of the big issues we see is that developers and other users often deploy workloads without IT having any awareness of these things, particularly when it comes to deploying workloads in the cloud. You know, oftentimes IT admins just have zero visibility and and they don't know what's out there. So one way to reduce the risk of a workload going unprotected is just make it easier for the end user to use these self-service capabilities to protect and recover their own data. Exactly. And the, the beauty of it is that if they're using Data Manager, the admin will get a report back showing uh, that a new workload has been provisioned and a certain data protection policy so that they can validate that the workload is in compliance with data governance uh, policies and regulatory mandates. It, it's all about simplifying IT. Yeah, you know, and one of the other big benefits, Tom, is that we've seen in-house at Dell is that when you deliver more automation in IT, you actually see a corresponding increase in developer productivity. So Dell internal IT developers have gone from spending about 20% of their time on innovation to 75% of their time on innovation through taking advantage of open APIs and these infrastructure as code capabilities. You know, so we want to help our customers essentially do the same thing. I want to get back to one of the other topics that we briefly touched on earlier, specifically why our customers would want to leverage PowerProtect Data Manager to protect PowerStore. Right. So PowerProtect Data Manager can be leveraged in the same environment with PowerStore and PowerProtect Appliances. And that's with all the benefits we talked about before. And this includes streamlining backup uh, data flow as well as instant access. What that is is it provides rapid access for image level restores. But Data Manager also offers management of local power store snapshots. So in this case, Data Manager provides volume and volume group snapshots backups directly to power appliances from power store using the Data Manager UI. And on top of that, by using, the, uh, by using Data Manager, app owners gain the additional advantage of centralized management and orchestration and crash consistency for backups and recoveries of multiple PowerStore clusters. Got it. And PowerStore customers also have access to capabilities unique to Data Manager, correct? You know, features that have been available for some time, which Dell continues to enhance, right? 
Yeah, of course. I mean, I'll circle back on the topic of transparent snapshots. I mean, at the highest level, uh, that simplifies VM image level backups for near zero impact to VMs or VM resources. And it, uh, it works with any VMware supported storage. So uh, uh, recently we added application consistency in transparent snapshots. And what that does is it provides a, a more reliable copy of data. And this really should be used whenever possible for transactional applications such as databases. Right. Yeah. And we talked about that a little bit before, right? The importance of having application consistency for things like SQL. You know, and the thing about transparent snapshots that people need to keep in mind is that, you know, there's this thing called VM stun. And oftentimes, develop, uh, database administrators will just run their applications on bare metal because of that issue. But now this opens up virtualization for even large databases because, you know, these the the the, the process for copying a snapshot with transparent snapshots, like you said, is completely non-disruptive. So that's a, that could be a game changer for a lot of organizations. Um, so as you'd expect, customers always have an eye on data security. You want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah. So it, data security is, is part of just about, or it, it, it's in every single conversation these days. Store snapshots on, on PowerStore are encrypted, and those Snapshots remain encrypted as they are copied and stored on PowerShell appliances. And customers, of course, can rest, you know, they can rest easy that their backup data is immutable based on retention lock capabilities. So in other words, retention lock prevents modification or deletion of, of certain data sets or files for a predetermined period of time. But Tom, we covered a lot of ground today, you know, regarding efficient protection for PowerStore using PowerProtect. Do you want to just quickly summarize some of the key points? Yeah. So, so overall, the, the native integration between PowerStore and PowerProtect increases backup performance and efficiency. And this is going to save time. It's going to lower costs. So if there were, if there were two points I'd, I'd like our, our listeners to walk away with, uh, number one, uh, Source Direct enables the, 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 the backup of data from PowerStore directly to PowerTech appliances without the need for additional backup software. And IT admins can continue to use PowerStore Manager, the PowerStore UI, the same way they do today. And now they can control backup and recovery processes from that same UI. And the bottom line for this first point is, is that it helps organizations meet their SLAs and simplify IT. I think it's also a great proof point of how we're continuing to drive these self-service capabilities. I mean, we're not only doing it at PowerStore, we do it with PowerProtect Data Manager, right? So it's not like one set of IT admins have all the keys, right? We're enabling other other users in the environment. And ultimately, that makes everybody happy and helps to drive more of that automation we're talking about. Exactly. And the, the, second, um, the second point, it, it focuses on extending data protection capabilities for PowerStore with PowerProtect Data Manager. Now, keep in mind that the data manager brings centralized management and orchestration for backups and recoveries for multiple PowerStore clusters. And of course, data manager also brings retention lock support for data immutability on power protect appliances. And all the, all the base capabilities of, of power protect data manager are also available, including, as we talked about before, transparent snapshots. Well, yeah, I think that's a great summation, Tom. Thanks for that. You know, and it's 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 a great proof point of our you know, better together capabilities with PowerStore and PowerProtect solutions, right? So uh, you can see where we're driving a lot of automation across the portfolio and we'll continue to do so uh, going forward. So I, I think that about wraps it up for this podcast, Tom. Thanks for joining me today. A lot of great updates about how Dell is driving the simplicity that organizations need. In our next podcast, we're going to be talking about how we will be delivering more automation into orchestrating application workload recoveries with PowerProtect Data Manager. Thank you to our listeners for tuning in to another episode of our podcast. If you enjoyed listening to this podcast, please give us a five-star review on our Apple Podcast channel, where you can also find more of our podcasts. Our podcasts are also available on Spreaker. Also, be sure to visit dell.com slash data protection for additional information about PowerProtect appliances and software, as well as all of our data protection solution offerings. This is Colin Keegan signing off. Thanks for joining us and be sure to come back soon for another Power to Protect podcast.